what's going on pisces placements welcome back to the channel if you're new here i go by empress gem i dropped the jewels this is you guys enigma read for may 2021 if you haven't caught any of the other videos quick summary this series of readings is pretty much about your intuition and what it is that you have an inkling about but you don't have all your information on we're going to pull some of that up to the surface and see what we got out the cards and what spirit want to say all right so um general message guys take what's for you leave the rest behind okay in any event, continue to show your God at love and support, equal energy exchange, simple like, comment, subscribe, share this out, whatever, you know. Uh, I do personals. I have a website. All that's below. So, yeah, let's get with it. Pisces. I was hearing a foolish. And I feel that people feel that you are foolish or like you're a fool. You're being a fool for people. Or you, I'm also seeing like literally the chicken with no head. So y'all could be like running around doing a whole bunch of stuff. And just like not completely focused or level headed right now, okay? I feel like you're running into a burning building. That's what it was. Running into a burning building. And it's like, for what? Like, I feel like there's nothing there. Like, there's nothing in there for you to say, but you just keep running up in there. Like, the people are screaming from outside the burning building, and you keep running in like the screams are inside, and they're not. Like, it's just... I Aren't you tired? That was the question that came. And like, and literally, I just heard somebody say it like... Like, damn, Pisces, aren't you tired? Like, aren't you tired yet? You know, like, um, I feel like it could be family, friends, possibly even children for some of you guys. I'm even getting, like, adult children for some folks that are just, like, causing mad stress, like, mad, mad stress. I feel like there's something that you want to do or something that is going to present itself where you are going to make some last-minute changes. Um, I'm hearing travel plans for some, even, like, you might have to, like, go somewhere to, like, travel somewhere, all right? Um... Yeah, plane. I'm seeing plane, okay? Um, I don't know why I just seen, like, helicopter, but, like, uh, the hospital one. Uh, the life support helicopters that fly you. So, um, major accident here. Somebody needs to be airport, air transported somewhere, okay? So that maybe you're traveling because there could be, like, a sick family member I'm seeing or something like a major accident or something happened where you're gonna have to just like get up and go like last minute I'm also saying for some of you guys where you're just gonna gonna drop everything that you're doing like you probably could have just like started a new job or started some new project or gotten to some new connection you're just gonna like pump the brakes completely and just change complete direction here okay I do feel that you know you're over something like you're you, you become slightly enlightened um for a lot of you guys who are getting ready to make like um plans like i say to travel or to move i feel like something is going to stop the original plan but whatever is going to happen i feel like it's going to be better for you okay you do have nothing is yet set in stone which is the mutable moon pisces that is your energy as a mutable sign you also could be dealing with a gemini a virgo or a sagittarius i'm also seeing scorpio energy here looking at that skull okay so let's get into it Got Leo energy, the strength. Yeah, whatever comes about, it is going to like, it's not, you're going to see it as a big ass problem, okay? But you really need to have the strength to endure because I feel like you're you're going through a lot now. Yeah, it's a tower moment. This is going to be a real big shakeup and you're just going to be like, because I already feel like, I feel like this sense of anxiety or this overwhelmed already in your energy, like you already have a lot going on. So when this happens, you're going to be like, shit again, like something else. And I feel like, but whatever it is that is coming as a tower that's shaking you up is so that you can release all of that other stress. Like the things where people are like, are you tired? Are you done dealing with that drama? Are you done dealing with that past energy? Are you done still running yourself in a circle with that same dilemma, with that same problem? I feel like whatever this tower moment is that's coming, that's causing you to make, to make this change, like it's forcing you. This is the divine forcing you away from the path that you're currently on because it's this detrimental i have to say it how they're saying this is detrimental to your health right now pisces so the divine is now stepping in and they're giving you putting you back on the right path because you have allowed family friends a job a lover whatever you have allowed other outside energies and circumstances to sway you from what it is that you truly want you are being the fool for other people and you know this so the question that is being posed to you pisces now is are you tired yet and for some of you guys i see that you're not noticing how beat down or run down you're becoming mentally physically emotionally and now it's time for us to step in and we are going to clear the way you had this plan we think this is better okay 
Thank you, spirit. Yep, Aries energy. It's time for you to boss up, set those boundaries, okay? Like I said, it also could be dealing with a work environment, could be dealing with a husband or a wife, a baby daddy, baby mama. Um, this could be a parent here if you're, you know... This could be your parent, okay? This could be a, your father, okay? Or somebody that you look up to, okay? Somebody in high authority here, all right? This also could just be the law or I'm also picking up like a doctor here, somebody coming in and saying, hey, I'm sorry to break this news to you, okay? Like I said, when I was seeing that helicopter there, that flying, that flying, somebody needed to be air airlifted, okay? Like there's something major that's going to cause some of you guys to go. Could be dealing with an Aries here, okay? Or an Aries energy could be coming in and bringing this news to you. Um, whoever this is this person um they play no games also for some of you i'm picking up an energy here of somebody who plays no games okay um always rest in bitch face always but it's just because like for you it's like this person they're just not they're not showing the emotion right now because it's not needed because they don't need you to lose your cool anymore like i just feel like this person's coming very direct and saying what needs to be said here okay also, I'm picking up heavy for you guys, for a lot of you guys, that this is you needing to set boundaries here. It's time for you to put your foot down and start having more control over your life because everybody else is trying to control you. You're becoming stone, okay? You're tiring yourself out. Like, I literally see, like, like if energy levels, like, if you could see your energy level in your body, like, it's like as somebody is taking your energy away, it's making you turn to stone. And that's, like, with this image. Like, you're becoming stone as people are taking more and more from you. Okay, yeah, it's time for you to be brave here with that Leo energy, okay? Stand up for yourself. Clear out the smoke. Didn't I say about running to a burning building? Like, you're running into what? Like, th there's really no flames. I don't see no flames, really, in this car. There's just smoke. So now it's just like, y'all just throwing water on smoke. Like, what are you really extinguishing at this point? Pisces, what are you really, what are you trying, what are you standing up for? What are you fighting for? Who are you fighting for? Because it doesn't feel like you're fighting for yourself. Yeah, what I say, that Scorpio energy. And I said, what I said, because this is your underlying energy right here, okay? This 38, breaking down to an 11, breaking down to a 2, which is a decision. But here we go again with the same skull energy, the Scorpio energy. Something needs to end. And I feel like as you always try to come to somebody's rescue, it's time for you to put your foot down. And you know you need to, okay? Like, you're you're being everyone's fool right now. Because we know that the fool is also Aries energy. As the first card, the first zodiac, you know? Taking that leap of faith. Being a fool, okay? Be, being foolish. Final card here, spirit. Yeah, it's time for you to start focusing back on yourself, Pisces. Get back in your energy, Self-love is the best love because it's like you're you're becoming so hard right now. And I feel like you're being very hard on yourself and you're making things very hard on yourself. OK, because, you, again, you're running into everybody else's problems and not focusing on yourself. You need to focus on yourself right now because you have a lot of your own cloudy bullshit going on around you. And you out here trying to extinguish everybody else's flames and fire and clear out their smoke. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Major interference. It's a big interference to you taking care of yourself, okay? I'll put this deck here. Let's get an enigma. We got two majors I want to kind of look at. We'll look at this emperor here. Yeah, it's time for you guys to start speaking up here. Speaking up about what it is that you want, okay? You are one person. You cannot keep trying to stress yourself thin, and you know that. People are coming to you and swarming towards you like a moth to a flame because you're allowing them to. Honestly, that's what I feel, and you need to change that. Yes, it's okay to be loving and nurturing, but you still need to get to yourself and stop taking from yourself to get to others because once you have nothing left and you're this stone, you can't get up and move. This stone cannot, he cannot get up and move. He has nothing left. He's stone. There's no livelihood in this. You cannot. You have to put down boundaries. Okay? You have to. Give me an enigma here, please, for this emperor spirit. One card for the emperor. Damn, Gina. Like, that's literally like, it's like, damn, Gina. One card here, please. First quarter, 47, again, breaking down to an 11, a 2, a decision, needing to make that choice. Some of you guys, 
if you're on that whole twin flame journey or whatever, you know, some of you guys, this also could be dealing with that in that aspect. You're masculine needing to make a choice here to love yourself and not focus on this individual anymore. Whether you're the female, the woman or the man, you know, however you're pulling your gender, we're talking about energy here, the masculine energy, okay? This is about this masculine energy here, about needing to take a new approach, a new action here. And I feel like you need to start pouring more into yourself and not putting so much into this person as you are. Okay, yeah, and that's just a message from the higher us. We got another four here. And like I said, um, this is fours are, you know, home life and things of that nature. But in the same breath, I'm also feeling like the energy of just feeling closed in and boxed off. Again, that foolish energy, closing yourself off, becoming stone. okay? Needing to take action and starting to take action now so that things can move better for you, okay? So that you can get out of this dark area that you're in, okay? Yeah, family, okay? With that high, that's family again. One here for this mother of water. We got two. Yeah, what I say, the moth in love. Again, here's that four again, okay? So this is definitely you needing to boss up, being that energy. And it's okay to give and care about people, but you need to change how much energy you're giving to folks or how much you're giving to people, period. Okay, with that 23 breaking down to a five, what did I say about the moth to a flame? You're the flame and everybody's attracted to you. You give to these people, you pour into them because it's in your kind, loving nature here. But again, you need to start giving more into yourself here, okay? Find that stability, ground yourself out, 24, breaking down to a six, bringing that balance within yourself, okay? Um, learning to emotionally detach from people who aren't pouring into you the way that you need to be poured into as you're pouring into others, okay? When you come out of this burning fire, when you done dealing with all this, you know, everybody else's drama and commotion and stuff like that, who then takes care of you? No one. No one is there for you. You're now left like this stoic fucking stone just sitting here waiting, 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 waiting. No. Okay. It's time to put your foot down. It's time to have some boundaries, you know, set some laws. Okay. Um, office hours I'm hearing. Um, Pisces, you need office hours for when you're available for people. Okay. Because you're Hmm, yes, okay, you need to believe in the possible blue moon, which is a full moon as well, and surrender to the divine, okay, because you keep trying to do for everyone else, and you are not God. Damn, spirit, that was a deep line. Pisces, you cannot save everyone, okay? They need to learn how to get down on their knees and pray, but you need to give up whatever extra dilemmas and stuff that has nothing to do with you, you need to give that to God. Let God handle that, okay? You need to continue to believe in the impossible, believe in yourself, believe that you are capable of doing what it is for you, okay? And just let it go. I heard go coast to coast and give up the ghost, for real, okay? Um, it's, yeah, it's time to release the negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. There's that Scorpio energy coming out again, okay? Lots of full moon energy. A need to release, Okay? That is like definitely that main focus and something that I feel is heavily going on with you. Okay, things are being released, removed. Like I said, for some of you guys, it definitely could just be a death that's going on. Okay, some sort of arrangements that you have to go. Um, a parent could be passing. Okay, and you just have to let that go. There's nothing you can do about that. Okay, but believe that everything will be all right. Let's look at this moth and his love on his queen. Of no, y'all playing. No, y'all playing. No, y'all playing. No, y'all playing. Something is going to come out of this, whether you make changes or not. That's what I'm saying. Your dreams need a practical plan in reverse. Yeah, you have all these plans and dreams, and it's like, I don't feel like you guys are sticking to the code. So the universe is like, okay, you keep doing stuff and wondering why it's not working. We got you. Okay, yeah. Show the world the real you, and I feel like that's what they're going to help you do. Also, with that moth to a flame energy here, some of you guys are also hiding yourselves here. You need to be brave and step forward here and show people who you are. You're talented. They will love you. People will love you. They will pour into you, okay? You got three more with that. What do you need to release, okay? It's a time to heal. And you're, you're very close to achieving your goals, okay? And this... <clears throat> Showing the world the real you is full moon and Aquarius. Star card energy, okay? Aquarius is the star. Healing, okay? And it's a time for healing. It's a time for that. 
It's a time to release. It's a time to let go. Time to be brave, all right? Know who is there for you, who is not there for you. Adjustments are definitely required. Like, you need to make that happen, Captain. okay? Some of y'all need to get back in y'all bag. Focus on work. Focus on your stability, okay? Like I said, you got family and friends, a lover that you need to walk away. Like, their time is up. You already know what the hell's going on with them. You know that you're being deceived. Somebody's lying to you, especially about when it comes to money with that earth energy there, okay? Somebody is hiding money from you. Somebody is trying to manipulate you, and you know this. You know this. I don't know what you're waiting on. I don't know if you're waiting for the right time to say something, but right now, I just feel like you're putting yourself in a web that you don't need to be in. You need to disconnect from that type of energy. Speak your truth and move the hell on, Pisces, okay? Focus, refocus back on yourself. Because if you keep trying to go in and deal with this energy, the universe is going to, it's not going to be pretty, okay? Mother of Earth coming out as your first card for your final two of advice, okay? You know that you need to focus on this bag. You know that you need to get your stability. There's that earth energy again towards Virgo Capricorn. Okay? But you know, in your heart of hearts, where your passion lies, where your emotion lies, what makes you happy and feel, feeling emotionally fulfilled, what puts you back in your element, is when you're stable. So you need to go back to focus, focusing on your stability here. Okay? Some of you guys need to get back rooted, get back to your roots. Some folks, yeah, some of y'all need to go back and talk to y'all parents, okay? Need to go back and read some old memories. The old time, I'm here in the old country, <laughs> okay? In St. Olive, the Golden Girls, all right? That's what I'm getting here. Some of y'all need to go back, you know, some of those old family traditions probably need to come back into play for some of you guys, okay? Maybe, you know, like going back to that office hours, you know, if you're a parent, you know, and your kids come to you with drama like every day, maybe you should be like, look, Saturday, we'll meet up as a family or Sunday, whatever day you pick a time you come by and see me. We can all go over. We'll have we'll have good food. We'll have drinks. We could talk, you know, handle all our family issues or whatever. We can all help each other. But it is that type of energy. OK, yeah, this is something it's time to take action that way. You, you're looking at what it is that you need to do to bring about stability within your life. It's time for you to take action here. Now it's time for you to act. OK, act, act with confidence. OK, Leo energy, fire sign. You got a lot, you got people. You got people. Who some of you guys, I see a father. I see two mamas. I see a possibly a judge. This couple could be married and he could father with both of these people over here. And this is a judge. Either way, at the end of the day, with these folks in play here. Let me see. Because I want to know who she is, too. Tell me about the Mother of Earth. One card for the Mother of Earth. bitch is deceptive or she could be deceiving herself you could be deceiving yourself out your bag yeah you're deceiving could, you're deceiving yourself out of your success here or this is somebody who is trying to steal money from you okay could be a mother figure somebody at your job feminine energy so it could be a male who's very feminine okay who likes to run his mouth and gossip we know that dudes be out here gossiping like females so let's act like it don't exist um give me one card on this emperor as people this is somebody who you need to lay a truce down with. Somebody that you probably have a home situation with, that you're probably tired of fighting with. Yeah, that you're walking away from. Okay, they could be out here being deceptive with this queen of coins here. Because Pisces, I really feel like you're the queen of cups. I also feel like for some reason that you're also bringing in that energy of the king of swords. Because you know the truth already. And now it's just about you acting. So let's see, queen of cups as a person. Yeah, that's you. That's you healing the Aquarius energy. You're the star. You're the one in the spotlight. You got some earth sign who's trying to steal from you as well, who's trying to take from you. Or it could be a job who is just messing with you mentally. Okay, yeah. This father of ear, this king of swords, this is about a decision. Gemini energy, heavy Gemini, you know, with that king of swords. But this is you making a decision here. 
okay? This also could be a brother or an uncle or a father who is helping you and making a, a judgment call in regards to possibly this emperor that you could have been dealing with and this mother of coins, okay? Or this job, this job situation that I feel like, you know, you just need to let go altogether. I mean, these are both sorted type energy and I feel like you already know that you need to make a decision. Some of you guys could have um, two financial opportunities here I'm seeing also where you're pushing the emperor aside which is the one you need to surrender to you're trying you're you're treating that like a sitting duck you just have it in in limbo okay could be suffering some sort of anxiety about it worried about that situation but you're still sticking with some other job that is not as lucrative as what this emperor energy is presenting and I feel like this the the queen of coins energy um job or whatever this one here i feel that they say things or make promises here that they're not really keeping they're feeding you bullshit and lies okay but it's time for you to see the truth when it comes to this matter and take action here again being confident and for some of you guys it's still about you know uh, I, I see a judge making a decision here when it comes to a relationship yeah this is about getting out of that stressful, having the strength to not be stressed, having the strength to not be cruel, having the strength to just do what you need to do and move forward when it comes to dealing with the situation because you're healing. You're healing completely in that Queen of Wands energy. I'm also picking up for some of you guys that Queen of Wands, again, with that sun of earth underneath, this could be some de the deceptive energy that's like around you at work. Somebody who is thinking of another way to fuck you over. And they're thinking about it like meticulously okay with this with this earth energy here be very cautious with like work people with you at work bosses higher up supervisors things of that nature final enigma yeah i feel like i just gave you guys a lot of clarity about this situation the omen yeah 44 breaking down to an eight visitation that's a two once all that breaks down or an 11. But um, yeah, somebody could be coming by or like I said, some of you guys um, travel plans, getting ready to have to go. You could be receiving some sort of message. Somebody needs you to come around. Okay, you're gonna reconnect with family and friends. It may not be for a celebration. It might be for a funeral, okay? At the end of the day though, Pisces, you will heal through the situation. You are on your way of healing, okay? It's time to take action, new moon and Aries, that emperor energy, like I said, to end boundaries. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon and Taurus, and work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio, okay? And those are sister signs, so hmm, let's get it. But that is the message. Pay attention to the birds, crows, crows and ravens more in particular, okay? Especially if you see three of them. I don't know why I'm feeling the party. So if you see three of them hanging out together, pay attention to what's going around you with them three crows. There's a message or something in the vicinity with that. Or it'll be like in regards to a person. Like if you're wondering about a person, pay attention to the crows, okay? The birds. That has been your message, Pisces. If you need to book a personal, I'll let below. You know I'm here for it. Until the next time we speak, peace out.